Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Yantriki and today I am going to solve one of the problems of industrial engineering that has appeared in university exam. So here we go, a company is manufacturing 24,000 uh, components per month by employing 100 workers in 8 hour shift. The company gets additional order from government to supply additional 6,000 components the management decides to employ additional workers what will be the production and productivity level when the number of additional workers employed are say 30 25 and 20. it's a very simple problem of industrial engineering that appears or that resembles very much like a problem of economics commerce or say management there is a fine difference between these two terms production and productivity so Production can be the final output or, and productivity on the other hand can be considered something analogous to efficiency of an engine or say efficiency of a system. Productivity will be considered as output upon input. Now let us consider this problem say this is your company A and it is manufacturing 24,000 components this will be considered at the output because it is it is something which is which the company is manufacturing and if i consider the consider the input so there are 100 workers they can be considered as input so every worker is giving 8 hours so the time can be considered as input and then there the production is happening in 30 days that is one month so in 30 days 100 workers doing 8 hour of works this whole can be considered as the input and meanwhile they produce 24,000 components and that can be considered as your output. If you look at this condition, you can now directly say that very simple, we can put 24,000 as our output and in the input we have 100 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 30 and this can be considered as our input leading us to unity that is 1. Present scenario the productivity is 1. Now let us consider the second case where there are two changes. 30 workers have been increased and there is also an additional demand of 6000 components. So very simple you add here your 6000 components and make the output the new output will be 30,000 and what will be the new input now in the worker section you add it say 30 now the amount now of input in terms of man hours that you are giving will be 130 multiplied by 8 and that is multiplied by 30 now this is our new input and this is our new output in the second case the output remains same that is 30,000 but the input in the in the second case will be like 125 workers and that is multiplied by 8 and 30 and in the third case the number of workers increased is by 20 so now 20 additional workers are increased so we make it 120 multiplied by 8 and multiplied by 30 so input keeps on changing whereas output remains 30,000 so this is the production in all the three cases this will be considered as production whereas if you divide output by input and you will be definitely getting the productivity levels now to just sum up I have already solved it here you can do your calculations otherwise now if if you have understood the problem very simple in the first case the productivity is 0 0.96 that is 96 percent in terms of percentage and then one which shows that it is 100 percent and it is 104 percent in terms of percentage if you look at the second case where the productivity is now uh, say 100 percent this is going to be the most effective condition because the productivity here is 100 percent in both the cases that is case number one and three the productivity has either crossed or is below say unity so the productivity level will not be as it is expected to be this is a very simple problem and i hope that you understood this problem clearly i will be solving many more such problems based on industrial engineering and will be uploading the videos on the youtube channel please like share and subscribe the channel and yes thank you so much for watching it stay tuned